it's Talisha and uh, today Bambi is getting clipped. She's falling asleep at the moment but um, this is Bambi's first time ever getting clipped so it's quite a big thing. I don't know how she's going to be. I believe she's going to be pretty good because she's generally a pretty sensible mare um, but you never know. It is her first it is her first clip. I also did just worm her, hence why she's a bit cranky and like playing with her lips. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so she's filthy. Um, I'll give you a little overview. So I'm about to give her a good wash because she is really dirty. And you may be looking at her and think, she doesn't look that dirty, Talisha. Like she just has a couple little mud marks on her face and her legs. Well, look at this. All the dirt comes up when you start scratching her. Like, ready? Can you see that? All the dust and the dirt flying off. <laughs> so, she is filthy. Uh, <laughs> um, she is not having her legs clipped. I'm doing her body and her face but leaving a little saddle pad area as well as her legs just because um the main spots that she sweats is obviously her body and um behind her ears and things like that so yes um and her legs aren't too bad and because they're not competing because of corona i'm not too worried about her having a full body clip um i'm also washing her out here as it's better for Jep because <laughs> she can see Bambi and it just makes it easier because Jep loves Bambi. So I know I might get people ask me why I clip and what the benefits are of clipping. Um, Jep is not getting clipped this year. She got clipped last year but she's not in as much work as she's not competing anymore so um, she doesn't sweat much. But the reason I am clipping Bambi is because she sweats like crazy and she's also very fluffy especially for a warm blood uh, she's ridiculously hairy and because of how th thick her coat is as soon as we just start doing a bit of work like 20 minutes in she's sweating and in winter it's just going to be too cold to give her a wash and it's not fair to her as well as the fact that she will be sweating and it's not fair to just put her rugs on and have her be itchy under her rugs because of all the sweat and the fact that I couldn't wash her because if I did wash her in the middle of winter she wouldn't dry so she'd be miserable and when she's clipped it means I can pretty much just rub a towel over her after she's been washed and she's virtually dry um, and yes yeah, so I'm leaving the legs as we don't have any comps with corona um, otherwise I would clip her legs because I think it looks nicer when their legs are clipped um, but it's just easier this way as well because then her obviously because her body's easy to keep warm due to um you know obviously rugs where legs can be a bit harder yes you can put boots on them and things like that but i'd rather not have to put paddock boots on her if i don't have to which is why i'm just going to leave her legs for this um season so i'm wearing my vet sense hat because we are doing a full vet sense wash i will show you what i'm using and then we'll get into washing her so in my bucket i mean sweat scraper that's fun um i am actually going to give her a good curry first just to get all of the loose hair out before i wash her then i'm going to go in with the equigloss two-in-one conditioning and shampoo i'm going to use this on her whole entire body and in her mane and tail um, I love this stuff. It's amazing. I've been using it for years Then to finish her off um, I'm not gonna put any sprays on her body or anything like that because she's getting clipped But I will go through her tail and her mane and put some Illuminots Detangler and shine gel. I love this and it smells amazing. I always put it in her tail after a wash um, Then this is what I normally use after a wash and I spray it all over her body but because she is getting clipped, I'm not going to do this um, just because I don't want anything in her coat when she gets clipped. Um, then as well to get the Equigloss shampoo really into her coat, I will use a jelly scrubber to really get that in there. So yes, so going to go in with the curry. I also love listening to podcasts and... Um, well, yeah, podcast. So I'm going to put on a podcast while I do this. You won't know because you are going to be watching this in fast motion. 
I just if you guys are interested whenever I'm riding or doing anything harrowing paddocks or doing boxes and things like that um, I always listen to podcasts I love them and I think they're really good I only listen to horsey podcasts so if you know any horsey podcasts um, that you think I might be interested in let me know I normally mostly listen to dressage based ones but any training ones or anything like that um, that you guys like comment them below because I'm always looking for more podcasts. The podcasts I currently listen to are Olivia Tower's podcast, The Horse Podcast and Jet Reel. So if there's any others, let me know. But anyway, we are going to listen to one of Jill's podcasts. is now all washed and just grazing um, she is getting clipped in about an hour so sun is not really in our favor right now um, let's just hope she dries really quickly I just got the message saying that they are about 15 minutes away so time to check if Bambi is dry Her neck and head is all dry. Her legs don't matter. They're still a bit wet, but as I said, they don't matter. Her belly is still a bit wet there, as you can see. But other than that, she's pretty dry. By the time they get here though, she'll be dry and ready for her clip. Yay. Okay, so now we have the finished product. This is actually the next day. Um, photos I took the next day, as you can see here. She, it worked out really, really well. And here's a couple days later. She's actually really dusty here because she just gets so filthy. Um, she was honestly so well behaved, like amazing for her first go, way better behaved than Jep was um, last year, even though Jep has been clipped many times before, as you can see, she's very dusty. But yeah, she, it worked amazing and she's so much more comfortable now and doesn't sweat as much, which is just amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you found this interesting. Bye!